In this tutorial, we will learn next set of commands. At first, we will learn about a rip command. For that, we will create some object and we will create rip. I will create one rectangular object on this horizontal plane using center option. Then I will extrude it by 10 distance. And I will create one more vertical plate on this surface using again center rectangle. and extrude. Now I want to create one rib on this center plane here. To create the rib at first you will have to create the sketch for rib. Click on sketch. Select the plane. Then I want to create one line here to show the rib location from this point to this point. Then escape. Click on stop sketch. Then click on create and select rib. Then select the curve. Give the thickness for the rib. Now it is 10. I will take 10 as it is. Then click on this depth option and select to next. From here you can flip the direction whether you want it inside or outside. Then here you can control the thickness option whether you want it in symmetric like the current one or in one direction. It will create the rib in one direction. Here you can change the dimension for one direction. And if you want it on the other direction, then place the negative sign before the thickness value. It will change the direction. And if you want 50-50 on either side, then from here select symmetric and click on OK. Now here we have created rib between two plates. If there are cylindrical parts are there and if I want to create a rib between them, I will just delete some of the features. Right click and delete. And I will create some circular part here. Click on sketch, select the surface. Then click on sketch, select the circle. Center diameter, create one circle here. Drag the point from the center and create one circle here. Click on stop sketch, then convert it into 3D using extrude. Give the height. Okay. Then I want one more cylinder here. You can also press C for circle. Select the surface. Track from the center point. Create one circle. Then give the diameter. Suppose I want it to be 30. Enter. Enter. Then click on stop sketch. Then click on extrude. Take the profile, give the height of 20. OK. Now here I want to create one profile for rib. Click on create sketch, select the plane, then create one line. Click on line, take this end point to this end point. Now here it is not showing the end point. Therefore we will just take it outside and then we will give the dimension. Escape, then press D for dimension from this point to this point. Now the diameter of this circle is 30. We will give the dimension of 30. Enter. Then escape. Then we want this line to be coincidence with this line. Select this point. Control this line. Apply the coincidence constraint. Then click on stop sketch. Then we don't need this line. Select this line and delete it. Click on create. Rib. Select this line. Rib is going outside because of this two next option. Select this two next option and select the depth option. Then give the depth. I want the depth to be of 30 distance where it is properly merging with the bottom portion. Give the height as per your object. Actually this object we created for 30 height. Therefore I have given here the height of 30. Then other option you can use as per your requirement and click on OK. Then next is shell tool. Let's see how to use it. For that I will just remove this some of the features. Right click and delete. Then I will increase the height of this feature. By double clicking on this I will increase the height. Okay. Then I will apply some fillets also. Click on modify. 
and fill it. Then select the edges to be filleted. Then apply the fillet of 10. Okay. Click on modify shell. Then select the face to be removed. I will select this surface. Then give the inside thickness. Suppose I want it to be 2. From here you can control the direction of the thickness. Now it is inside, you can click on it and make it to be outside of your current sketch. Then here you will have to give the outside thickness. Same way, from here you can give thickness on both sides. That is both sides, 2 to 2 on both sides around your sketch. I want it on one side, I want it on inside. Click on OK. Then next is to learn the web tool. For this at first we will create one sketch to indicate the location of the web. Select create sketch. Then select the plane. I will take this top plane. Zoom fit. Then I will create some lines. I will create this one line. Ok. Then this one more line. Ok. And one line connecting these two lines then one more line here then one more here ok then one here escape then click on top sketch orbit it now using these lines I want to create web structure click on create select web then select the line then give the thickness I will give it to here using that line it has created an object and it has automatically extended the line object up to the intersecting surface and if you want to select multiple lines press control and select the multiple lines by pressing control you can select as many lines as you want and release the control it will show the structure now here it has extruded all the lines up to the surrounding intersecting surfaces then here you can control the thickness option whether you want thickness to be symmetric or on one direction now it is on one direction and if you want to reverse the direction of the thickness place negative sign before the thickness value it will reverse the direction of the thickness Using this depth option, you can control the depth, click on this depth and here you can specify the depth, how much you want. Suppose I want it to be 10, so it has created the structure up to the 10 height and if you want to touch it to the bottom, then from here select the to next. It will extend it up to the next surface and if you remove this extend curve option, it will create the structure as per your sketch and it will not extend it up to the next surface suppose I don't want to extend up to the next surface but I want these lines to be touching to these surfaces then for that you will have to edit the sketch we will click on this ok then double click on this sketch and extend it click on sketch extend and click on these lines so you will have to do it manually then only it will produce the structure as per this sketch then click on stop sketch so it will create the structure as per our sketch then next tool is draft tool for draft tool again we will delete these features suppose I want to draft from center on either side to apply draft from center you will have to create one plane here click here on construct and I want to create plane using mid plane click on mid plane then select this surface, orbit it and select this bottom surface. Here it has created plane in the mid. Click on OK. Then click on modify, draft. Then select the parting plane. Select on this plane. Then select the faces to be draft. I want to draft this surface. Then control, select other surface. Then give the angle. Suppose I want draft of 10 degree. Here it has created the draft of 10 degree. 
from here you can flip the direction whether you want like this or like this that you can control using this flip direction now draft is created on one direction click here and select two sides if you want draft on both sides give the draft angle for other side the draft is created 5 degree below and 10 degree above then if you want symmetric draft on either side then select here and click on symmetric it will apply the same draft on both sides then click on ok then next is material application to apply the material click on modify and select here physical material using this physical material you will apply the properties of the material to the part and appearance of the material click on physical material and from here you can choose the material there are different types of material are available here glass are there then metal is there then you can drag down here is the different copper is there just you have to drag the material and release it on the part it will apply those properties to the object and it will also change the appearance as per your selected material then click on clothes that's all thanks for watching we will stop here